Hey, what I do everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. So for everybody that follows the channel, you guys are probably well aware that my last video was quite the adventurous video. We took the Peterbilt, took the low boy, loaded up the wheel loader, and we went up the mountain and we uh, cleared a bunch of snow for the people up of the Crestline area. So I got to meet a lot of new people during that, and I know that there's quite a few subscribers who've joined to the channel. So I just wanna say thank you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy the channel. And originally it was just gonna be the one video where I kinda stuck the GoPro on the front of the tractor, and you guys just saw me going about my day moving stuff around. And that was gonna be it. We were gonna kinda go back to normal and uh, I've actually got quite a few projects that I'm working on here at the ranch but I got a message yesterday from Tim you guys probably remember him he was essential in everything that went on up there and in this message he kind of explained a little bit the story of what happened after we cleaned out one of the driveways now I read this message and I did not respond because I was thinking about it so typically when something like this happens I just like to kind of keep it personal I don't like to like make it very public because I am not looking for a pat on the back or anything like that but this story was just so amazing so I ended up calling him back and I said hey if you could please reach out and see if I could get the permission to go ahead and talk about this story because it's just incredible. So he reached out to her and she said that she would love to have people hear this story. So I had the privilege of speaking with Joanne for about 20 minutes and I actually recorded the whole conversation. So during the phone call, I'm just gonna play some pictures. I'll probably have some video going in the background because I really don't have anything that like goes with it, but I hope you guys enjoy it and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. Hey, good afternoon, this is James. Hi James, this is Joanne. Hey, how are you? Doing good, doing good. Tim said he thought you wanted to write something about what happened to us. Well, I mean... And what you guys did, because um, my daughter my daughter was very, very... When we got to the hospital, it was bad. They had to take her by helicopter to a trauma center. Holy smokes. Yeah. And the county refused four times to come up here. Two times before she fell and twice after she fell. Oh, wow. And they said, no, you have to hire someone private. Yeah, no, Tim had just sent me the message and said that, um, yeah. you know, we, since we were able to clear the driveway, you guys were able to get down to the hospital. And, oh, yes. And, I uh, mean, if if we, you know, our neighbor is a, PA, a surgical PA at the hospital, and he was keeping an eye on it, and he said, well, I could lay you on a sled and sled you out of here and I said no you know she can't even walk let alone lie down and get sledded out I said let's wait until someone comes okay. and we took her to the hospital after Kat and Victor left and after they got us out so I'm gonna go ahead and interrupt the phone call just a little bit. Um, now when I was there, I just was in and out and onto the next driveway. I wish I had taken a little bit more time to actually get to know her. So as soon as I finished, there was another team that went in there with the skid steer and shovels. And honestly, I feel like my part in this was smaller than theirs. They probably actually put in more effort than me. Um, so it's kind of a team effort, but I'm gonna go ahead and get back to the phone call. And, um, and they took x-rays and what had happened was it was, they were compression fractures at T11 and T12, but the T12 was what they call an unstable burst fracture, where she hit so hard, it shattered the vertebrae. Oh, wow. Yeah, so um, they had to bring a special, when they got her down to the trauma center, they had to order a special brace to be sent in from UCLA and they got her aligned and, and put that brace on her and she has to stay in it 24 seven for the next eight to 10 weeks. Yeah, um, but they, they think it will completely heal itself. Okay, well that's good to hear. Yeah, I mean it's, uh, but they said, you know, she, she was here for four days with me calling and and they would not send help yeah it was uh it was just a giant mess for you know we had called the doctor and the doctor said i'm worried about a compression fracture i don't want you to move any more than you absolutely have to and that's exactly what it, they told us to hire a private company and the only bits we could get were for a thousand dollars an hour and it was gonna take them two or three days. $1,000 an hour? $1,000 an hour. Yep, but they're still charging people that up here. Jeez. They're still, 
there are still guys charging a thousand dollars an hour and that was with bobcats not a big not a big you know plow but bobcats yeah i mean i was in and out there in what like an hour and a half yeah i, I yeah i mean it was crazy Jeez. it was absolute we couldn't afford it we couldn't pay it yeah you know I, <laughs> there was nothing we could do that's so sad because i grew up in ukaipa did you? I'm very familiar with the area. I moved to San Diego probably uh, 12 years ago, maybe 13 uh -huh. years ago. Um, and my brother, he actually lived in Crestline until about last year. Uh huh. And so I didn't know how but bad. Crestline it was. got it much worse, much much worse than we did. Yeah. We thought it was bad up here, but those poor people—they're still digging people up. Yeah. In that town. And it's just, everyone should have been out of their houses by now. But, but they're not. There are they're still people stranded, they're saying. Oh, wow. Yeah, and our neighbor hears about it because he works at the hospital. Yeah. Wow. But I, I, I don't have words to thank everyone enough for what they did for us. Yeah. One, one wrong turn and, and she would have been crippled for life. She, it, it, they just basically told me she's lucky. Yeah. This, that paralyzing injury. Yeah, the team that came up, uh, I mean, I was just a small part of it, but we were able to get a lot done real fast. And, you know, when Tim sent me this story <laughs> of, of this, you know, I, I have a hard time, and this is just me being very personal. Mm -hmm. You know, I just like to get in, do what I'm supposed to, and get out. Um, right. You know, and we were always raised take care of our neighbors and 99% of the people who live up here are wonderful. Yeah. Neighbors were helping neighbors. You know, you got on Facebook, they came. It, wonderful stories. But there are just a few bad ones. They plowed but only to their water tank. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, so, when, so next time they try to turn around up here, I'm going to tell them they're on a private road. They'll have to back up. <laughs> <laughs> you should put a gate right at the end of it. I wouldn't be able to do that, but it would be nice to drive. Our neighbors and everyone who came to help could not have been kinder. Yeah. Could not have been more thoughtful. Um, we were we were absolutely blown away. Absolutely yeah. blown away. And once again we thank you from the bottoms of our heart well you are very welcome so i'm just glad that you know we were able to be a part of it well we appreciate everyone everyone up here is is on facebook thanking people um you know if they couldn't didn't know who to contact it was just thank you to this thank you to, it's wonderful to see what's going on yeah so how's your daughter doing now is she She's doing really well. She uh, she has to wear it twenty four seven. Um, it's very very uncomfortable, yeah. but um, her pain went from like she said a twelve um, down to one. Okay. As soon as they got her in that brace, it stopped all the pain. Oh, that's great news. Yeah, and so we we just like I said, we feel very 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 blessed. Someone sent you guys up here. <laughs> There's no doubt in my A mind much higher that. power, yep. Yeah, because I, I didn't even know how bad it was. I had a random phone call from a friend uh -huh. who said, are you going up there? And he doesn't even live in the state. And I said, what are you talking about? It's 70 degrees. They knew degrees. more about it out of state than they did in the state. We kept, on the, we kept watching the news, hoping we'd get an idea of when someone would come. Uh-huh, yep. And so, like, my we, biggest concern, you know, because I, I shut down mm -hmm. my whole operation to come up there. And, um, you know, my biggest concern that I was going to get up there and that I was going to mm -hmm. be turned away. A lot of people were. Yeah. I know that uh, Victor and Kat, um, who were the, the last ones here that got to the house and, and actually got our car out so we could get her to the hospital, She they said that... Um, um, they had been calling for about five days 
And, and the day they dug us out is the day that they let them out. And, you know, we had been in here for five days with that broken back. Holy cow. Yeah. Man. I'm really sorry yeah. that you got put through uh -uh. That, that. Yeah, but you know what? We met the most wonderful people. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds, I mean, we made it. We made it through safely and, and intact. And so did all of our neighbors. Yeah. And and that's what matters. You know, I, I feel horrible for those that were lost. Yeah. And um, I, 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 I won't even watch the news to ask how many it, the count is now. Yeah. I think last I heard it was 13. Oh, wow. Yeah. And most of that was press one. I know, those poor people. Yeah. Okay, well it's really good talking with you. Um, Thank you, James. Oh, you're very welcome. Uh, I'm just going to put together like a little, I don't even know if there's going to be any verbal stuff from me. I might just sure. type some stuff up, but, but we'll see. Um, yeah, you know. I, I think it, I, I really think it, it would be nice for people to know that, yeah. um, you know, people who don't even live in this community came up and saved my my daughter. You know, and I've already lost my other daughter, so it meant the world to me. It really did. I thank you so much. You are very welcome. Uh, like I said, I'm just so glad that you know I, I him and hot it going up, and I, you know I'm so glad I did. Thank you. Glad that we were able to help. Thank you so much. Well, you okay. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Uh, and I, well, right. Hopefully, Bye. we never see each other again. But you know, <laughs> if we do, <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a big hug. Well, if you come up, we got kayaks you can borrow. <laughs> oh, I'll remember that for sure. Okay. Have a great day. All right. Bye. Bye. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up, but not in like the typical fashion that I usually do. I just really wanted to share this story because for me, this is something that's gonna stick with me forever. And like I said, in the grand scheme of things, as far as like my day-to-day -day and what I do, this was pretty small and insignificant. Um, I took a truck, I took a tractor up there, and I did what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. I just did it somewhere else. But the impact that it had on these individuals' lives was huge. And so for me, that made it 100% worth it. I would never hesitate to do something like this again if I'm in a position to be able to do so. So I know for a lot of people, taking a Peterbilt, a low boy, a wheel loader, and going and moving snow for a couple days up in the mountains is something that's like out of reach. And for me, it was a little bit of a stretch. I did have to go out of my comfort zone a little bit, but do I regret it? Not one bit. And not to get too preachy, but I feel like America could use a lot more stories like this. I'm not looking for a pat on the back. I just am amazed at the end results of what actually happened. So do with that what you will, but we actually got to go feed the animals. I got my daughter waiting on me over there. So we're going to go take care of them, but hope you all have a great day and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Later.